After the death of George Floyd, Lionel and Kathy Soso were walking their dogs one morning and saw a sign, a sign that inspired the idea to create a documentary and a series of over 30 oil portraits painted by Lionel in just six months. Both portraits and documentary tell the stories of black men from ages 10 to 90 about what it is like to live in their skin in San Antonio. Every day challenge of living in my skin. And then they started telling us stories. Uh, and these stories were amazing. We thought, not in San Antonio, maybe New York, maybe Miami, maybe LA, maybe Oakland, but not here, yes. Here. The Living in My Skin project opened up a panel discussion about race on January 29th in the auditorium at Texas A&M University, San Antonio. One of the executive producers of the documentary, Seymour Battle, says it is important to create a safe space for black men to share their stories. It's about having conversations. It's about uh, creating a safe space where we can talk about things that have been historically taboo. So I would say continue to work toward those. Uh, embrace the uncomfortable conversations. The panel discussion highlighted being aware of struggles black men go through in this country and what it means to be a part of that conversation, along with doing your part in understanding the lives and feelings that come with these stories. And I think this idea that we have to raise the bar and we have to be better at how we think and act and engage with others is really prevalent. To view the portraits, you can visit the auditorium lobby until February 10th. To learn more about this project, visit livinginmyskinsa.com and catch the first part of the documentary on KLRN's website. Part two of the documentary will be airing February 9th. Reporting for Enlace, Caitlin Silva.